Assalamualaikum and Selamat Sejahtera to all of you. So, for this way, we are going to continue with reactions of alkenes. So, basically, for reactions of alkene, there are two types of reactions, which is the first one is additions reactions, and the second one is oxidations reactions. So, for additions reactions, it's subdivided into four hydrogenations, halogenations, hydrations, and hydro halogenations. So, for hydrogenation is hydrogens, nation is um, penambahan, so meaning that tambah H2. So, for halogenations is halogens. So, plus X2, it doesn't matter whether it is Br ataupun Cl. And next one is hydrations. Hydrations is tambah water, hydro. Okay. So, and the last one, we have hydro. Hydro is hydrogens. Halogenation is halogens. So, Tambah H dengan X. Sama juga X boleh jadi Br ataupun Cl. And then we have the oxidation reactions. Oxidation reactions means that a reaction that will produce a product with CO bonding. It doesn't matter whether it is C double bond O bonding or COH bonding. So, oxidation adalah penghasilan produk yang ada C dengan oxygen bonding. So, we have a combustion, ozonolysis and also hydroxylation. Alright. So, for the first one, kita pergi ke addition reactions dulu. So, what happened during the addition reactions? So, the pi bonding, which is the C double bond C, were broken down and formations of two sigma bond. Okay, so untuk pi bonding, kita ada, sorry, untuk double bond, kita ada satu pi, satu sigma. Tapi kalau single bond, kita cuma ada sigma bond. So, daripada you ada, Satu pi bonding, okay, which is daripada double bond. So, bila berlaku additions, pi bonding ni, okay, dia akan break down, menghasilkan dua sigma. Satu pi bersamaan dengan dua sigma bond. So, satu pi bonding break down, so dia menghasilkan dua sigma bond di sini. So, kita nak fit in dengan apa? Kita akan fit in kan kawasan sigma bond yang baru dengan reagents awak. Okay. So, for example, yang contoh ni dia bagi awak X dengan Y. So, kita akan letak X dan Y pada sigma bond yang baru. Okay. So, because of that, so addition reactions is the reactions that produce and saturated hydrocarbon from unsaturated molecule. Okay. So, bermaksud kalau ada double bond, okay, dia akan jadi single bond. Kalau ada triple bond, transition dia adalah daripada triple, addition sekali akan jadi double bond, addition lagi akan jadi single bond. Alright. So, karakteristik dia adalah pi bond of the double bond dekat sini akan broken. Okay, and then formations of two sigma bond. So, nak bond breaking hanya akan berlaku pada pi bonding sahaja. So, bermaksud kalau lah bond breaking berlaku antara carbon A dengan carbon B. So, new formations of sigma bond pun akan berlaku pada carbon A dan carbon B. So, sebab tu kita kenal this one as the reactive site. Okay. So, reaction cuma akan berlaku pada lokasi itu saja. 
Okay, other than that, dia akan remain. Sebab apa? Dia bukan reactive site. So, only one product is obtained at the end of the reactions. Okay, the product obtained is saturated hydrocarbon. So, from unsaturated, jadi saturated. Okay. For addition reactions, it is subdivided into two, which is reactions with symmetrical reagents and the other one adalah unsymmetrical reagents. So, apa yang dimaksudkan dengan symmetrical reagents? For example, you have A2. So, bonding untuk A2 ni is actually macam ni. A bonding dengan A. So, dia bentuk molecule of A2. So, bila bond breaking, dia akan break bonding antara A dengan A. So, bila you dapat identical things, okay, atoms, yang identical which is A dan A, benda yang sama. So, ini kita panggil sebagai symmetrical reagents. For example, you have hydrogen molecule which is H2. So, H2, bila you break down, you akan dapat H dan H. So, dia identical. Sebab tu nama dia symmetrical reagents. Another example, you have Cl2. Okay. So, you have Cl dengan Cl. So, putus, you dapat Cl dan Cl. So, identical. So, that one kita panggil symmetrical reagents. Okay, for the unsymmetrical reagents, such as hydrohalogenations. Okay, which is you either H then Br. Okay, which is HBr kan? So, bonding dia adalah H dengan Br. So, bila kita putuskan, okay, uh, for addition reactions, You nampak sebelah adalah H, the other one you have Br. So, they're not identical. So, that's why kita panggil sebagai unsymmetrical reagents. Okay, for hydrations. Hydrations adalah reaction with water. So, you ada H2O. So, bonding untuk H2O adalah H dengan OH. So, bila kita break down, you akan dapat one part adalah hydrogens. The other part adalah hydroxyl. So, they are identical. So, that's why they jadi unsymmetrical reagent. So, bila you ada unsymmetrical reagents, so you can apply Markovnikov rules. Okay. This one, symmetrical, tak perlukan Markovnikov. So, that's why you kena tahu nak bezakan sama ada dia symmetrical reagents atau perbedaan symmetrical reagents. Next, additions of symmetrical reagents. So, the first one, we have hydrogenations. As I mentioned earlier, it is a additions of hydrogens to a double bond. So, dekat sini adalah you punya reactive site yang warna biru ni. So, bila berlaku addition reactions, double bond pada color biru ni akan putus. So, formations of two new sigma bond. Okay, because of formations of two new sigma bond, that's why kita boleh tambahkan hydrogens ke dalam your structure. So, these reactions will occur with the presence of catalyst. PT, nickel ataupun PD. So actually, these reactions you dah belajar dalam preparations of alkene. Alright. So right now, kita jumpa lagi. Okay, these reactions in the hydrogenations of alkene as a reactions of alkene. Okay, so I give you another example. Okay, for example. Okay, this structure. Okay, so plus with H2, okay, with the presence of platinum, let's say lah PT. Okay, so what you have to do adalah redraw your structure, okay, jangan ubah apa-apa, kecuali pada locations of double bond. So, pada locations of double bond, kita gantikan dengan dua sigma bond. Double bond dah hilang. Okay. Double bond dah tak ada. 
gantikan dengan 2 sigma point. So, jangan tinggalkan macam ni sahaja. So, you perlu tambahkan your reagents. PT is the catalyst. Okay. So, catalyst tak tak involve dalam penambahan pada compound. So, the only thing yang involve adalah you punya reagents. So, reagents awak adalah hydrogen. So, letak dekat sini. Satu hydrogen, satu lagi hydrogen. Ingat reagents mesti dipisahkan. Which is H dengan H. Bila pisah, you dapatlah satu atom hydrogen, satu lagi atom hydrogens. Other part of the structure. Okay. Jangan ubah apa-apa. Just perubahan hanya berlaku uh, at your double bond. Okay. So, another example. Okay, you ada cyclopentane and then you have double bond. Contoh, you plus lagi dengan H2 and then kita guna nickel pula kali ni. Okay. So, apa yang berlaku, ingat pesan saya salin semula. Okay, jangan ubah apa-apa kecuali pada double bond. So, this is your double bond dekat sini. So, dekat sini you kena tambah. Okay. So, nak tambah dengan apa? Jangan tinggal macam ni. Okay. Tambah dengan reagents. So, actually, kalau you lukis macam ni pun betul. Kalau you leave it dia macam ni pun, betul juga. Compound yang sama. Okay. Sebab skeletal, kita tak letak hidrogen pun tak apa. So, dia still lagi compound yang sama between this one dengan yang ini. Okay. So, next kita pergi ke halogenations. Okay, the same concept. It is the additions of halogens to a double bond. So, this is your double bond. Okay. So, this is your reagent. So, in a solvent which is CCL4, it is a medium ataupun catalyst for these reactions. So, ingatnya akan berlaku penambahan pada structure products adalah you punya reagents. So, Akins react with halogens at the room temperature in in dark. Okay, halogen is usually dissolved. Okay, in a inert solvent. So, boleh pilih lah nak guna dichloromethane ataupun tetrachloromethane. Okay, so, I give you one example. Okay. Kita ada, okay, this structure. Okay. Plus with Cl2 in CCl4. So, ingat pesan saya salin balik structure ni tanpa double bond. So, kita salin semula. This is our structure. And then, pada locations of double bond, kita gantikan dengan dua sigma bond. Okay. So, this is our sigma bond. Okay. Yang original Structure jangan ubah, just double bond. Okay, gantikan dengan sigma bond. So, nak letak apa? Okay, jangan tinggalkan macam tu. So, this is our reagents. So, dia akan berpecah jadi Cl dengan Cl. So, meaning that, meaning that, sorry. First carbon letak satu Cl, second carbon pun kena dapat satu Cl. So, CCL4 tak take part dalam reactions. Okay, dia just sebagai catalyst. Okay, so this is your final products. Okay, so another example. Okay, you ada cyclic structure. Okay, double bond dekat situ. So, plus dengan CL2. Okay, nak guna BR2 pun boleh. Okay, so silent semula structure. Jangan ubah apa-apa. Okay, pada locations of double bond. Okay, this is locations of double bond. So, gantikan dengan dua sigma bond yang baru. So, nak letak apa? Letak CL. So, ini akan putus. So, satu CL di sini. Satu CL di atas. Alright. So, itu sahaja untuk symmetrical reagent. So, kita tengok example. Okay, 
So thank you guys.